I'm going to let you in on a little secret, one that I discovered some years ago and I've harnessed and optimised over the last uh, couple of years. There is a secret to how we move through this world. There is a secret to exercising. Now, not everybody will follow exactly what I'm suggesting, but I learned a few years ago that the gym is not the place for me. I found it to be toxic and unhealthy, both psychologically and physiologically. And also, I don't think it suits our needs. So let's think about what we used to do, us human folk. For the majority of time we've been on this planet, we've moved regularly and throughout the day. We've lifted, we've pushed, we've pulled, we've ran, we've walked. And isn't that a bit of a contrast to our modern existence? So I personally believe, yes, exercising one hour down the gym every day, of course, is good, it's very positive. But is it really what our body needs? Is it what our body is calling out for when the rest of the time we're either laying in bed or sat at a desk? In my opinion, it's time for everybody to consider the following. Sounds rather arrogant, doesn't it? I don't mean it to be. I guess I'm just saying that this is what works for me and maybe you like to consider it too. And it is something that everybody can employ. And that is the philosophy of moving all day, every day. Now, of course, I'm not literally st suggesting uh, that you, uh, for every minute of the day, push, pull, lift, walk, run. But what I am suggesting is the following. First off, let's look at a piece of research conducted by a good friend of mine, Dr. Emmanuel Stomaticus from University of Sydney. And he's conducted a, a four-year study uh, looking at uh, the lifestyles of 30,000 plus UK folk, all wearing wearable devices. And the data that he was able to collect, him and his team, was that if we have short bouts of high intensity exercise, which can be the minimum of a minute, you want longer, but you, it would be a minimum of a minute, for three or four times a day where you significantly raise your heartbeat, that is enough to significantly cut cardiovascular disease by more than half, in fact. So that, of course, is the idea of you simply raising your heart rate via whatever means necessary, running up steps, uh, running with your child to get them to school, uh, walking with two heavy bags from the supermarket, etc. So that is suggestion number one. You could look at your daily lifestyle as a means of at least three or four times a day, simply increasing your heart rate via whatever means necessary for at least a minute, and that will cut your cardiovascular disease per potential by 50 plus percent. So here comes suggestion number two. I use my body every day. I push my body, I lift my body, I run with my body, I walk with my body, and I make use of my environment to do all those things. My kitchen is a gym. My sitting room is a gym. The steps up to my second floor are a gym. My environment outside is a gym. The trees are a gym. <laughs> so everything therefore becomes a tool. And the more you uh, move through this world with um, an eye for exploration, uh, exploring the environment that you have, making use of everything around you as a means of pushing, pulling, lifting your body, you'll then begin to have fun with it. You won't need to go to the gym anymore, nor will you, in many instances, need to change your kit you will simply walk past a tree, realize hopefully that the branch is strong enough to lift your weight or hold your weight and do a few pull-ups. You will find a steep hill and instead of walking up it, you might run up it. You'll spot some scaffolding <laughs> and you'll think, hmm, that's a good climbing frame. Be careful, of course, but I certainly do that. You will spot a log in the wood and you'll realize that that is a perfect lifting bar. Everything you have is right in front of you. You don't need to go to the gym. 
But what you do need to do is move your body, push your body, lift your body every day, regardless of your age, and have fun with it. Enjoy doing it. Life is for living, and if what we're doing is being sat down in front of a computer all day, we're not living. You know that, everybody knows that, but we need a gentle reminder. So why don't you try this? Why don't you start moving through this world, looking at everything around you as a means, as a tool for using your body for the reason it was given to you. <laughs> and that is push, pull, lift, run, walk. Do that every day. Think of it as just a part of who you are, how you exist, how you move through this world. And you'll begin to realize that you're far more capable than you think. And I guess this aligns with my most recent video for those that are 50 plus. Again, you are far more capable than you think. And by adopting this philosophy, adopting this mentality, a lot of the life that you thought you'd lost will come back. Especially when you add all the other stuff that I do breath work, mindfulness, meditation, <laughs> engaging with others in a positive way, loving others, befriending others, making new friends. Yeah. Do I need to say any more? You get the message. Off you go then.